Hello world. Hey, you know what I wanted to talk about today? How to go out alone. And all of a sudden I realized that when people think about traveling solo worldwide, there's a step to take before. And I've never pointed this out. Um, <clears throat> how you get used to it is going out alone in your own hometown. So <clears throat> think about how you feel when you go shopping. You don't need to go with someone. So it's like that, but having fun. So I remember the first time I read 35 years ago, going on an artist date by Julia Cam Cameron, that book, The Artist's Way. And I was like, yeah, I like to do that, but I haven't done it in so long. You know, being a mom and married and having a business, you just don't get a chance. But you know what? <clears throat> love yourself so that's what it's about really you'd be surprised at what good company you are so start out small by going to the movies going to a restaurant by yourself you know what's fascinating about going to a restaurant by yourself I like to listen to people talking around me sometimes it's pretty juicy um, Leonard Elmore or is it Elmore Leonard he wrote Get Shorty and all those cool thrillers I heard him speak once and he said that's what he does. He eavesdrops on people because you can't talk like if you haven't been in prison, you can't talk like a prisoner. If you haven't been in, uh, you know, like a totally different dimension and environment than you grew up and you can't really talk like that. That's why it's cool to travel. So getting back to just bite off little things like going to a restaurant by yourself. And you know, you get used to the uh, the dumb waiters or the dumb people going, how many people when it's just you? It's like, there's no one behind me. And it's just, it's, it's just like, you just get past it. It's still like, why would there be anybody else here? It's me standing here. And a lot of people, Go to restaurants by themselves. I was just in a restaurant recently by myself, and I noticed many other women sitting at their own tables solo. You don't have to eat with other people and talk. In monasteries, you're supposed to be quiet while you eat. So anyway, um, so try little things like that. And then the thought of going on a great big trip to South America won't scare the bejesus out of you. Um... It'll start to seem more natural that, okay, then you can extend it and get on a plane by yourself. And I love to travel by myself. There's a lot of freedom to it. And I love traveling with loved ones as well. That's super fun as well. It's a completely different trip. Um, so you kind of smooth your way into it by trying things in your own town. And you know what the thing is? Nobody cares. Like, besides that whole restaurant thing, they're just thinking about how much money they can make. They don't, they're not caring about your ultimate experience. And plus, they're not even making a judgment about it. It's like, they just want to know how much money they're going to make when they say how many people to sit down. It has nothing to do with your own personal worth. So the thing is, just get past that and enjoy your own company. I mean, all of a sudden you have the freedom to make a lot of decisions by yourself. You can go to this country or that country and getting back to your own hometown, you can decide to change your mind in a flash. Um, and it's fun to do that. So little by little, take chances with going to San Francisco for the day. And I've been doing that a lot and walking around after I'm teaching photography at the Palace of Fine Arts. I, I'm discovering new neighborhoods that I haven't been in in decades. And it's super fun. And you're also more open to talking to people. So the cool thing about being on your own is that if you're open, like you can feel somebody's vibes. If you, if you feel that they're kind of off, then stay away. So I recommend going places and being open to talking to people because you never know. I've met really wonderful people while I've been on solo adventures and you can too. So once you do that a bunch of times, then you're gonna feel better about going on a plane to another country all by yourself. So 
comment below, subscribe. There's always new information about life, love, photography, yoga, fun, and wanderlust. So I'll see you in the next video.